Okay, we're going to do a short video here. My cat's in the way. Okay. So anyways, what I'm going to do with the video on is uh, is the bench pins that I have in my shop that I've used over the years. And we'll start with this one. Now, I, I don't do a lot of piercing. Uh, a lot of people, what they like to do is cut a V and then use the flat side. Um... But I, when I'm doing it, I just pretty much do it off the side. Uh, so we probably won't get too much into that. But if I flip this over, now what I've found is that the distance from here to here is always a little too wide for these GRS attachments. So I end up having to cut part of it away. And the other thing I've noticed is that they're too narrow this direction too. So I just take a piece of wax and I slide it in there. You could use a piece of metal or whatever, but uh, that, that works fine for me. Then I just, it's got a little bolt on the bottom, one on the side, and I just tighten that up. And so I like to have kind of a, uh, let's see if I can find a ring here. What I've done is I've taken a Mizzy wheel I've made a couple grooves in here. This allows me to set these in here and hold them really tight so that if I'm using a half round file to do the inside of a ring, the ring stays put. It doesn't slide. It's a lot easier on my hands and wrists. Uh, the other thing I've done is I've cut this away and what that does is it allows me you know, everything should be braced by the bench pin. You know, you don't want to, don't get into the habit of filing up here. Um, that's hard on your fingers after a while. You can slip and, and stab your fingers. But if you have something like this that you can support, you want to support the ring, that works very well. And the same with sideways. I, I'm a big believer in, in the bench pin sliding down when you're doing filing work because I think it's more natural to hold the piece on the side here in doing doing your filing even with the, the half round as opposed to trying to it's kind of awkward when it's when it's flat out so uh, another thing I've done with this this is getting kind of worn but I'll take a saw and I'll cut a little half circle in right there and what that does is it it makes it nice for me uh, if I'm working on my with my ring stick just kind of fits in there brace my hand underneath gives me something to push against nice and strong so that's how I use that particular bench pin then I also have now I use this for mold cutting and let's see I got a mold around here so I've taken a can opener and I've screwed it onto the bottom of the bench pin and so what this does it's just a kind of an inexpensive way you know we don't even need that so I tighten this down what it does is it gives me a nice, it, I, I say safe because I've never cut myself. We'll pull that wax out of there. So say this is a, an uncut mold. I would brace my finger on, on the bench pin and pull that back and I can cut the mold. And so far I've never slipped and cut myself. And I, I'm certain I've done over a thousand molds, so um, that, that's, that's worked very well for me. Uh, another thing I like to do with the bench pin, okay, we'll pull that out. I've got this tool here that I got from Kevin Potter. Excellent tool, very well made. I had to actually drill a hole through the bench pin out the other side because this fits so snug 
that the air <laughs> all right it's you know another thing I suggest adding oil uh, this this tool is made very well in the fact that there's no play you don't want to have play so when it's in there it is it fits properly and so put that in there go fits in there really well with that piece of wax so what I like to do is with with this tool of Kevin's and of course this base can be mounted on the side of a bench he gives three of these big big screws here now I didn't use those screws because I didn't want it to come through the bottom but this works great for say You take a mandrel, you slide it in there, you can tighten that down. If you want it really tight, get a big Allen wrench. So what this does is, it, is I like, you know, if I'm channel setting, you know, I, I know a lot of you like to use the hammer hand pieces, which will work fine on here. Um, but what I like to do is a little brass hammer little punch here and then I slide this up and what I like is that if it's coming up the mandrel then as you're hammering on it the ring is going to stay tight and it's going to tighten as it comes up the mandrel so if I want to do a channel setting I can just put that down like that and it works really well the other thing that's nice, you can turn it this direction, and so say you have a bezel that's going this direction, you can then get over here and you can hammer that bezel down over the stone. Works great for that as well. Now, a person could also, if they mounted it to their bench, or maybe you had different bases, or I don't know how it how it works with Kevin but uh, you could you could mount it on the bench and you'd it'd be a little bit stronger and you'd have more weight behind it and that might work better for you um, another option here that works really good you know say you have a wax <clears throat> and you want the wax to say you need to size it so you can slide it up the mandrel this holds it for you which is great and then you can take and you can fill it in and you can size your wax or cut a piece out depending on what size you need it. And of course you can see the size you're on based on your mandrels. So um, that works really good. So I think that's pretty much uh, all the uses I do when I with my bench pins. Now, if I was to, you know, say, do a little more piercing, I'd probably cut a, uh, a V with a hole out. And, and I would use the flat side for sawing. I think that works best, just in my opinion. But So anyways, those are the couple of di th three different things that I use uh, different uh, bench bins for. And so I guess that is about it. All right. Thank you.